Hey everybody, David Steenkamp here. Um, feels like my mic's not working. No, it looks like it is. Um, okay, so video number 22 here. Uh, what we're going to do in this one is we're just going to go into the plugins section. So this is going to be your first look at the plugins section. Uh, don't be too freaked out by it. Um, the first thing I recommend you do is just delete this Hello Dolly one. Um, I've never actually looked into it. I don't think it does anything at all. So I just delete it. I recommend you do the same or maybe look at it if you want to. So I press delete and then I press yes delete these files because I like to keep everything as clean as I can. Okay. Um, so if you remember uh, in a previous video we looked at the tools and import and export and all that stuff. So that's why there's this WordPress importer one there because I wanted to show you guys how that one works. Okay so the other thing that you'll see is the Akismet um, I hope I'm saying it right. <clears throat> and it's basically like your basic way to block spam and crap from your website. And I definitely recommend that everybody gets it. So the first thing that you should do is get yourself an Akismet API key that you'll see right here in step one. So, or sorry, step two. So step one though is clicking on activate. So let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to break nothing or anything like that. So activate. Okay. So that's done. So now you'll see this giant green thing here. Um, if you don't see that for some reason, just click on the sign up for an Akismet API key. Um, I think they'll take us to the same spot. Let's see. Okay. So I've already got one. I know I could just put it in here. See, there's mine right there. Um, but I'm going to click on this get your API key because that's probably what you guys are going to need to do for sure. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is click on the big blue Get an Akismet API key. Now you're going to need a WordPress.com account for this. So if you do, then great, you'll want to click on this button here and that'll take you somewhere else. But if you don't, then just put in your, um, your email address and create yourself a username and a password and then press sign up. Okay? So uh, go ahead and do that if you need to. If you already have a WordPress.com account like me, just click this button. So I'm going to do that. Log in. Oh, geez. I have way too many passwords. I don't think that's right. Oh, I'm doing the exact the same thing I did when I was doing that Gravatar. I always do the wrong password first, and then I do the correct ones. Oh, nope. How strange. There we go. Third, third try is charm, so. Okay. So this is the page I don't want anybody to get too freaked out about because you can actually get it for free. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on sign up for this personal one. All right. Now it's like, oh, Visa, PayPal, blah, blah, blah. All you have to do to get rid of all this stuff is take this little slider here where it says, what is a kismet worth to you? You're going to feel bad doing it, but go down to zero. And when you go all the way down to zero, you get a frowny face and all that uh, payment stuff disappears. All right. So then you put in your first name, your last name, you press continue. It'll say processing. So just going to wait it out. I'm not sure what it's going to do for me because I technically already have a key, but there we go. So there's my key. So what you want to do, take this, copy it, and remember that little file that we had a long time ago? I'm going to open it back up, bring it into the screen here, um, and I'm just going to do another little section, a Kismet plugin information, API key. And let's just paste it uh, right there. And I'm going to press save. And I'm going to, I recommend you just take this and copy it. Okay, I'm going to close this out again. So what's next? You can save this key automatically, blah, blah, blah. So I've never actually clicked this. I don't know what it does. Let's see. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what it's going to do. Let's see. Oh, nice. It actually puts it right in there for you. So yeah, if you want, click on the Save Your Akismet API key, and then go back, and it'll put it here. Um, okay, so, and then it gives you just a couple options. These are totally up to you if you want to show the number of approved comments beside each comment author. So that's if, uh, like in our previous video, if you have multiple users on your website, you might want to click that just so you can see how credible each person is. And then there's this strictness, and this is a radio button, radio button, so you can choose one or the other. Um, so do you want to silently discard the worst and most pervasive spam so that you never see it? So it's kind of the same as like an email program, right? They, they have an option like that most of the time. Or do you want to always put the spam in the spam folder first so you can look at it, make sure it's not spam, and then delete it yourself? So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to press Save Changes. Okay. <clears throat> and now let's go back to the plugins and just check them out and make sure that it's actually working. So, yeah, I think it's good. So let's just see. So now it's in uh, settings, I believe, a kismet. And that's it. That's all you're going to see. So now... I wish there was a way I could put in a spam comment or something, but... Uh, Okay, so, so now you should have um, a little spam thing right up here when you click on comments. You should see a spam one right up there. So just wait. You'll, you'll see. You'll probably get some spam. Everybody gets, you know, a few every now and then. But um, as long as you have that Akismet enabled and, and activated, it's going to take care of a lot of your spam for you. And it's going to make sure that it never sees the light of day on, on the front end of your website. So you're never going to see it up here, here anywhere or anything like that. Um, actually, I think I have one idea of how to maybe make it go off. So I think on our pages here... Oh no, we took off the... Uh, we took off the... Leave a comment. So I was just going to put in a bunch of links and see if it marks it as spam or something. But anyways, that's how you set up a Kismet. Great, great plugin. Um, totally free as long as you uh, follow the steps that I just went over. Um, next, I'm gonna do. Let's see. Next, I'm gonna do in my next video. I'm gonna do a backup plugin called Backup WordPress, and it's very, very basic. It's 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 for the person that doesn't want to get too crazy into backups and like all the different MySQL options that there are and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, anyways, I'm going to cut this video out and then we'll get uh, into that. So congratulations installing Akismet. Um, you can uh, rest assured that you're, you're, you're going to be pretty darn safe and you're not going to see a lot of crap on your website. So uh, pat on the back. <laughs> All right. See you in the next video.